This is a tutorial on how to make the James Bond gun barrel sequence. This is what it looks like. They have it at the beginning of every single James Bond movie. This is what it will look like in the end. Yes, this will work in Final Cut and Final Cut Express. I'm using Final Cut Express, but this will work in Final Cut Pro. Okay, I'm going to get the viewer and um, this is, you're going to need the James Bond gun barrel green. You can get all of these, the muzzle flash, this thing I named thing, it's really the blood, and the footage of you walking with the gun, it, like James Bond. So the first thing you're going to do is drag your footage down. And um, watch at the end of the tutorial on how to do make a bullet come out of your gun like in Live and Let Die. So make, put it on one, and then um, on video layer four, Sometimes you have to make this. Put the James Bond green. Because I put, uh, I covered it in green. I covered the person in it with green. So I didn't have, so if you, you can just download this one instead of having to um, keyframe a green circle on top of it every frame. So that saves you a lot of work and time. So um, this is an important part. Um, for, just drag your clip all the way to the side so you can see it in the viewer. Put your playhead there. Um, my mom made me blur out my face. So, right when you're shooting the gun, which is right here for me, click on the razor tool and then cut it at the playhead. So you have two separate videos. And now just drag both of those videos back. Now, you're going to want to use the razor blade tool again. So, you see these white dots? Um, when they end right there and right before the gun barrel comes, like the frame before that or a couple frames, use the razor blade tool to separate that into two separate clips. So, you have this clip and the clip of the white dots. Make sure you, the clip of you is directly under the second clip. There's gonna there's a little indicator at the top uh, to show you where it is. So it's about there. So I'll just fix that later. Um. So here it's gonna be there. But you're you're wondering why aren't you in the gun barrel? So double click your clip so it comes up in the other um, viewer. Click on filters, go to effects, video filters, key, blue and green screen. Don't use the chroma key because personally the blue and green screen works better for me. So click on green, bring the color level to where you want it and bring the color tolerance down. You can add a little edge thin. You can feather the edge a little bit. You definitely need to feather it a little bit to make it look nicer. So, personally, I like rendering my videos as I go. So, I'm gonna render it. Now that, now that it's done rendering, you should save it so you don't lose your work. So, I'm going to name it James Bond Gun Barrel. Now it's saving it. So now you're going to Now you're going to be thinking, I'm in the gun barrel, but why am I not walking in the gun barrel? You'll see what I mean. I'm I'm going to play it. 
starting at the second video. See, the gun barrel will just pass you. To do that, go back to your first original clip. And then right over here, add a keyframe. And then put it right. And then you can zoom. I'm, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And start following you in the keyframe. If your camera is a widescreen camera like mine and your head's almost at the top, make sure you don't get any of that black bar on it like there. Don't make sure not to do that. Make sure to just cut it off at your head. Well, I'm just going to do this really quick. Okay, now it doesn't matter where your clip is, just get it to be like that. I know the blood's flowing down right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and render it.